Gravy Buffet. As Pete was saying, this, this ride does have quite a few different little obstacles with it. it, it they are individual cars, uh, which means that you're going to have a whole lot of blocks out on the, out on the, the course so that you don't have any collisions. Uh, which, anytime that you've got stopping points and prop sensors and computers, that gives you just a whole lot more opportunity for trouble. Uh, but we, we pretty well stay on top of it, and uh, it, it, it's a real good, consistent running ride for us. Uh, we do have the, uh, and I'll show you in a minute when it gets here, cold weather, hot weather, uh, liners and urethane wheels. Uh, when we first start, we open up in March and we run all the way through December, so there's some uh, cold nights and mornings that the ride will need to operate off the middle run below 40 degrees. Uh, so during those cold months, we've got the uh, the hard plastic liner that we'll, we'll, we'll put on. Uh, and then as the temperature consistently stays warmer through the spring, uh, then we'll swap those out to uh, the urethane wheels. And, and that's a good thing because it, as, it, as the cars break in, heat up, they go faster, it can get rougher when you're on those hard wheels. So we're ready, always ready to get on those, those soft wheels. It makes it much more pleasant. steel coaster it can get rough and that's because of these and also there's bushings inside the bogies that act as shock absorbers and they've got different rigidity to them uh, so we, we play around a lot with those but pretty much after five years of running we feel like we've got it under control so now if you do ride it does feel a little rough it's most likely it's down to the, the hard wheels that just have not been swapped out yet and the other thing that we, the reason why you don't want to do this too soon is because when you go through your drum Excuse me, you go through the drop and the hairline. When you get up to the top of that inverted loop, there is some hang time right there. And it's a fine, fine line. Uh, unfortunately, we have hung the car upside down. It was empty during testing, but that's part of this deal is that you've got to have these dialed in. Um, normally, if they're loaded down with either the, the water dummies or human weight, you know, it, it's going to go on through. But, we have to set up for an empty car run. That's your worst case scenario. So it, it's a fine, fine tuning trying to get these where you want them so you do get your hang time upside down in, in the inversion. Um, the uh, ARVs on this, uh, a, lot of, a lot of companies are going to uh, silencers uh, so that you don't hear that traditional clicky clack as it goes up the, uh, the lifts. Um, this design right here has these little, I don't know if you can see it from out there. You don't have a spare. No spare. But they've got these, these little levers on them. That, 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 and there's tracks, there's rails on the lifts that as it gets goes up the lift, those little levers will actually hold the ARB up so that it doesn't slam every, every ARB rail as it's going up and it keeps it a lot quieter. This particular ride where you're inside this big metal building, that metal to metal smacking is extremely loud. So we can always tell when we've got a maxwell that's uh, not right. Um, but how that works pretty much is it, it swivels. So when it when the car gets on the lift and those those axles pick up the ARB, car goes forward, if there's an E stop or an issue, the car stops on the lift, they just flip backwards, the ARB's kick down, and that, that keeps the car from stopping in a in a safe place. There's there's no there's no rolling, so it's uh, it, it's a pretty cool design. A little overkill, I think, for what it's doing, but uh, 
Other, other rides like the Wild Eagle, um, it's got uh, a, lot of, a lot of rides are going for just urethane or plastic caps on the ARB, so it just takes it's just a cushion in between that metal and metal. It's a lot simpler, a lot less expensive, but uh, that's just a couple different ways that you can silence the, uh, the ARB to get away from that clicky platform of the lips. Uh, the restraint system, uh, something else that a lot of companies go away from are the old the ratchet paws. Uh, as the restraint goes up, it's got the, the claws that lock in. Uh, this has got the uh, the hydraulic system on it as well, so wherever the the restraint goes down, it, it, it locks until you, you release and run your fluid to the other side. This and then the Wild Eagles the, the same way. Tornado and uh, Thunderhead still have the uh, the ratchet. 